let's be honest. This is a video from our quote-unquote good friends at BuzzFeed about questions that feminists have for men. Every single one of these videos has questions coming from the far liberal left. You don't find this kind of craziness coming from the right. Well, you might get another kind of craziness, but not the entitlement-happy stupidity that just drips from these videos. So, here goes what is hopefully my last BuzzFeed response, at least for a while, with 36 really stupid questions that liberal feminists have for men. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? I don't know. How does it feel to be the same sex as Hillary Clinton? You know, that unethical bitch who started her political career being fired in 1974 while part of the investigation into Nixon for being unethical and dishonest? And guess what? She's never gotten any better. I guess she's a real credit to your gender, isn't she? Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. It's just a fact. I don't hate rom-coms. There are some good ones, but there's also a whole ton of really bad ones. I hate awful movies, especially movies that feature really obnoxious assholes without the slightest clue how to live responsible lives. Now, you bring up The Notebook, which I guess wasn't particularly bad, even though only 52% of critics on Rotten Tomatoes gave it a good review. So, yeah, there are lots of people who don't like The Notebook. And Beyonce? Beyonce's crap. Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours? Personally, I don't make women in movies do anything, but then again, I'm not a screenwriter. But this is something I've said before. The whole purpose of making movies is to make money. And like it or not, rom-coms don't make much money. Now let's go back to 2004, the year of the aforementioned The Notebook came out. Was it one of the highest grossing movies of the year? No. Was it even close? No. The highest grossing movie of the year was Shrek 2, which made more than 919 million worldwide. How much did The Notebook make? 115 million. In fact, it came out fourth in its opening weekend, behind things like Fahrenheit 9-11, which made significantly more money than it did. The Notebook won absolutely no awards for anything. Not the Oscars, not the BAFTAs, not the Golden Globes, not the Screen Actors Guild, nothing. As a category, rom-coms are a commercial failure. Their only saving grace is they tend to be cheap to make. They're not popular among anyone, men or women. So why do movies where women talk about men tend to be more common than movies where women don't? Because those movies make a ton of money. There you go. Next. Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? I don't. In fact, I do enjoy lots of TV and movies that have female leads. But then again, I don't care about the gender of the actors in TV and movies. I care if the shows are any good. But people on the left, they only care about the gender or the skin color of the actors. And I've already talked about that in some of my other BuzzFeed videos. What's more... TV shows and movies with female leads also tend to be pretty blatant in their feminism, where instead of showing these women doing something exceptional, they spend a lot of time whining about what's keeping them down. And that tends to piss a lot of people off. It's not the gender of the lead that makes the difference, it's the structure of the narrative. Why are you surprised when women are funny? I'm probably funnier than you. There are actually a lot of really funny female comedians out there. These are comedians who are not trying to make political points. They're just trying to say things that are actually funny. There are also a bunch of female comedians whose sole purpose in life is to score liberal brownie points by only talking about leftist subjects. Those are people I don't find funny, regardless of their gender. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. This isn't about obsession. This is about how absurdly stupid hooking up is in the first place. It's idiotic when men do it. It's equally idiotic when women do it. Why don't you try for a little personal responsibility and keep your pants on? And that goes for both genders. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? When men do it, they're congratulated. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? 
because that makes you a slut, and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you're still a slut. It reminds me of someone I knew a long time ago in an atheist IRC channel who was depressed because she couldn't find a serious boyfriend. Well, it turns out that between the ages of 18 and 19, she had 38 different sexual partners, and she always slept with someone who asked her out on a first date. Always. Well, guess what? You're never going to get a decent guy if you're a slut. And guess what? I can judge you any damn way I want for any reason I want, whether you like it or not. Deal with reality. In what world does no mean yes? No means no. You're right. No never means yes. But in what world does yes suddenly become rape after the fact because you changed your mind? Feminists try that shit all the time. Why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders? Some women are too emotional. Some men are too emotional. Anyone who is unable to step back and evaluate a situation rationally without letting their emotions cloud their judgment is too emotional. There's nothing wrong with emotions in the proper context. But in every context, to the exclusion of all else, too much emotionalism is harmful. Then justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves. Who says men can't control themselves? I have a serious problem with anyone who cannot control themselves. Those people have something wrong with them and need some professional help. Bad behavior is not acceptable, but it depends on who is considering it bad behavior. If something is socially acceptable and you personally don't like it, that doesn't mean people have to change their behavior to please you. That means you have bad expectations, and that's your problem, not theirs. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Hey, I'm nice to most people, except for those who don't deserve it. Respect is earned. It's not magically granted. And I'll be honest, I have no interest in anyone's body, including yours. Why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? Well, I wouldn't. Why would any woman ever send an unsolicited boob pic? Or solicited, for that matter. It seems that most of the celebrities whose phones or online accounts get hacked and nude pictures come out, that tends to be women more than men. So what the fuck is wrong with them? Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about women, but... When somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay. Hey, my sister can stand up for herself. She'd probably put your ass on the floor. But that brings up a good point here. While I agree that it isn't good for anyone to hit anyone regardless of gender, why is it that if a man talks smack to a man, it's relatively socially acceptable for that man to take a swing? And if a woman talks smack to a woman, it isn't really looked down for a cat fight to occur. But if a woman talks smack to a man, he doesn't get the same right. Whatever happened to equality? I mean, it isn't like crap like this is uncommon. Do you want equality or not? How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a point? Do I have to pull up all the videos of feminists interrupting men here? Seriously? Because we know this happens all the time. Hypocrisy much? Of course it is. If you shut the fuck up and let me read my list, there's the fucking proof. And so I, can't, I obviously can't like... Oh, yeah. So, number one, number one, shut the fuck up for a second. Feminists do not want you to lose custody of your children. The assumption that women are naturally better caregivers is part of patriarchy. Why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Normal men have these things called testicles. Have you ever heard of them? I know you probably haven't because most of the guys on your side, they're lacking those particular things. All those guys have these things called manginas. I get that you have balls, but I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. No, women tend to have purses and bags and other things that take up a hell of a lot more space than men spreading their legs to get comfortable on a bus. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex, even though we literally birth you, like watermelons, through like this? Because, like it or not, 
women are physically weaker on average than men are. That's just biology. The most physically fit woman out there will not be as strong as the most physically fit men. In professional weightlifting, the gender gap between men and women stands at 36.8%. That doesn't mean that men are better than women. It means that men are better at some things than women, and women are better at some things than men. Welcome to reality. Why is it so bad to show your emotions? It means you're human. I feel like we've already covered this. It isn't bad to show your emotions. It's bad to be overly emotional in situations where it isn't appropriate, and this goes for both men and women. In fact, this is one of those things that I talk about quite a bit. There are a lot of people in a lot of situations where they are using their emotions far too much in situations where it's not appropriate, where they are not using their brains, they're using their emotions. That's a problem. Why are you always trying to prove your masculinity to me? Ever heard of this thing called evolution? Displays of strength and competence are a central part of most mating rituals in nature. Yes, humans can override that part of our biological programming to a certain degree, but that doesn't make it magically go away. Why the f*** isn't it ladylike to cuss? When did words get gendered? It has very little to do with being ladylike. It has a lot to do with being crass. There are some times when it's appropriate to use profanity, and sometimes when it is not. Doing it in front of your grandmother, that's probably not appropriate regardless of your gender. And let's be honest, I don't think most people give a fuck what you have to say. Why is it your first instinct to doubt women who have been sexually violated or raped? Well, it isn't. My first instinct is to take care of them, as I would with anyone who's been injured regardless of sex. But once we've taken care of your medical needs, then we get to worry about what happened to you. And let's be honest, there are a lot of cases on the books where women have been caught lying about being sexually assaulted, so I think it's perfectly adequate to seek additional verification for anyone who makes any claim against another individual, regardless of gender or the claim. Why do you assume a woman's angry because she's on her period? I don't assume it. They could just be angry because they're a feminist. But whether you like it or not, a woman on her period has biological and chemical changes that happen to her body that can and demonstrably do alter her mood and emotional reactions. That's reality. Why do you people have such a problem with reality? Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? We can say the same thing about your dick size. For the same reason a guy who stuffs a sock in his shorts is dishonest. For the same reason that a woman who stuffs her bra is dishonest. You're making yourself appear to be something that you're not. Just be yourself and stop playing make-believe. Why isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? Do you have a coochie? Maybe you've heard of something called the Constitution. Yeah, yeah, I know you leftists hate it. But it is the fundamental governing document of the United States. It lays out how justices of the Supreme Court are to be selected. Maybe you might want to look that up. And you might also want to look up who's actually on the court, because there are three women, one black and one Hispanic, currently serving. But, you know, don't let that get in the way of your feminist fantasy. Your straight guy's so obsessed with lesbians. Now, personally, I don't give a damn about watching lesbians. Why would I? But it is interesting to note that lesbian porn, which I assume is what you're talking about here, is also very popular among women. In fact, according to a study by BuzzFeed and Pornhub, women are 132% more likely to search for lesbian porn than men are. That's kind of surprising that people who work for BuzzFeed would be completely unfamiliar with what BuzzFeed's already established. Oh wait, this is just clickbait. Never mind. How does it feel to get kicked in the balls? I don't know. About like it feels to get punched in the boobs, I guess. Do you ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time? Do you ever get tired of trying to act feminine? Oh, wait, wait. Feminist. Yeah, right. Sorry. Why don't you do us all a favor and go shave sometime, won't you? Why are you so afraid of gender equality? We're not. The majority of men would love there to be gender equality. We just like it to be for everyone and on everything. That means that if men have to register for the draft, women should too. 
That means that women should get no preferential treatment for things like child custody and spousal support. Maybe we shouldn't cry about female genital mutilation when male children are automatically given circumcisions every single day. And, you know, women get to choose if they want to be parents, but men do not. A woman can have an abortion without the consent of the father, but if the woman decides to keep the child, the man's on the financial hook for 18 years, whether he likes it or not. How about we try for some real equality and not female superiority? Why do I deserve to be paid less than you? In what world does 77 cents equal a dollar? In what world does 68 cents equal a dollar? No, and you're not. The whole gender wage gap has been completely debunked, yet you still continue to repeat it as though it is remotely true. Women choose to go into lower paying fields than men. Women choose to take more time off work than men. Men work in more dangerous fields and put their bodies on the line far more than women do. Men work far more overtime than women. In any field where comparing apples to apples, not apples to orangutans, men and women earn exactly the same amount. And you can't even agree on how much this imaginary wage gap is? Knock it off. Stop lying. Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? That's awesome. More money. If she earns it, I'm not remotely. If she gets it because of some kind of a quota system, that's bullshit. People need to earn what they make. They should not be given anything on a silver platter because they fill some racial, sexual, or other kind of quota. Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? When opinionated men are seen as bosses. Well, that depends on how you give your opinions. I'm fine with anyone, male or female, black or white, straight or gay, or anything else, who has intelligent, well-thought-out, rational opinions that they can defend logically and with objective evidence. It's when you base your entire ideological position on emotion and wishful thinking that I've got a problem with you. So, knock it off. Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? All right. How do you know that we're not? If it's behind closed doors... You have no clue what goes on. You're just assuming that nobody is saying a thing. But that brings up something else. If it's behind closed doors where you're not involved, what the hell do you care what is said? Why are you so afraid of recognizing your own privilege? Doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just recognize it and do something about it. Because privilege is bullshit. But I could ask feminists the same questions. Why are women so reluctant to address all the things that they get that men do not? Hypocrisy much? When can we expect feminists to recognize their privilege and do something about it? I have a feeling we're going to be waiting a very, very, very long time. This is really why I have such a problem with modern third and fourth wave feminism. It isn't about equality, no matter how much they keep trying to pretend that it is. It's about revenge. It's about female superiority. It's about getting rights they lack, which I completely support, and keeping the extra rights that they have, which I don't. See, we already have a word for actually caring about equality for all, and that word is not feminism, it's egalitarianism. I'm an egalitarian. I want actual equality for all, regardless of sex, race, sexual orientation, or anything else. If you're human, you should have the exact same rights as every other human out there. That means no favoritism in anything ever. And that's not what modern feminists want. Oh, they say they do. They pretend they want equality, but their actions tell another story. They don't want to be equal to straight white men. They want to be better. Worse yet, they want to get back at straight white men. They want revenge for all of the slights of the past, whether they actually existed or not. That's not equality. That's why modern feminism is bullshit. So, what do you think? Leave your comments below and let me know if you think I'm off base or not. As always, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you see anything online that you want me to take a look at, whether it's a YouTube video, a news article, or anything else, you can send it my way. I can't promise to address everything, but I certainly do read everything I get. So, until next time, please be honest with yourself and others. Don't play word games like the feminists do. If you can't be truthful... Why should anyone take you seriously?